Hello! As you can probably tell with the sound of the waves and the texture of the walls and just everything, I'm in Bali. My name is Gwen. And I'm Shan. This is not a typical Bali vlog. This is a very unique Bali vlog. It might seem like a typical Bali vlog, but... Is that um, a typical Bali breakfast? Um, no, it's, it's not a typical Bali breakfast. It, it, it's not it's what it seems. It's a fruit bowl. It's a fruit bowl. No, but back to me. I assure you, this is not your typical Bali vlog. <laughs> Bali vlog. We are now heading down for a morning swim. The weather's looking very, very cloudy. We're gonna head down to there and take a little swim. It's probably gonna be really cold, but yeah, should be fun. We have just had our morning swim and it was really nice. It was really really nice. I wish I can have more morning swims on the beach. It's really nice and refreshing. No one was there and the sound of the waves and just everything. In Uluwatu, what is there to do but swim in the beaches and like watch sunsets? That's what we've been doing for the past two days. Yeah, we've just been swimming at the beach and watch sunsets and eat. Eat our, you know, very non-typical food back again on our very very interesting and um, unique Bali trip mm. coconuts in Bali recommend it oh this this oh it's just you know like a um, Bali thing that happened I guess but yeah I'm fine it's all good thanks for asking so we are finally leaving this place after three days and two nights of just beaches, food, and monkeys, and yeah, it's been really fun. And we're going to be moving locations to Ubud, where we can chase waterfalls and stuff, and also see more monkeys. <laughs> two hours later. <laughs> Oh, I don't think suitcases is a good idea most of the time, but <laughs> we're going to our next stay. That's apparently in the middle of the jungle. Now we're lost trying to find our own accommodation. And the funny thing is we could already see it right there, but we're still lost. Oh my God. So what I did is literally Google unique places, Bali, and after a few hours of browsing, this place came up. Basically, we have to climb up a ladder to go into our room. And in the middle of the night, if we needed to pee, we have to climb down the ladder into the toilet. <laughs> and um, yeah, but so far, so good. Other than the insects and the mosquitoes, comes with it. I mean, you paid for staying in the jungle. Everything's nice. And so today our plan is to kind of just stay here in this echo lodge and like do work. Hello. We have spent the whole day here at the lodge. Green's been working and now we're cleaning up. I got oat cocoa. We're cleaning up to get something to eat. We've just been staying here the whole day, doing nothing, just on our laptops, and we are finally going to go out tomorrow to go visit one waterfall in the morning. Feel some water, some cold water in the morning, you know? Yeah. Our weapons, our shield. Yep, because we've been getting so many bites Yeah. in the jungle. Yep. Yeah? If 
Net. Yeah, but like there are holes in the mosquito net. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a lizard literally just fell from the ceiling. Yeah, I'm it's. Ah, please don't. Don't stand so close to the door, please. Yeah, I think they're gone. I think they're gone. Yeah. How the fuck do they run so quickly though? Yeah, because they need to try. What? It's right there. Where? 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 Behind where? that thing. Where? Oh my god, I Mama. see it. You I see it? it. Mama! <laughs> where? Where is it's it? Behind this thing. Behind one of the beams, like diagonal beams. If Should we just sleep? You know, they won't hurt us, right? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Then we'll just get the time saw... we hear something. <laughs> Imagine jumping off Imagine the how room. the huts look like from outside in <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. We just drove here for 20 minutes and now we're visiting a waterfall to have a fresh morning swim before I start my day with work. I'm impressed with how clean these toilets are. Look at how clean. Wow. <laughs> what, what is that? Is that a locker room or a changing room? Or? They have oh, really? They have toilets here. We have toilets upstairs. This is such a fancy waterfall. Oh my god, it's so cold! <laughs> and I keep tripping. We're just now walking towards the waterfall, and it looks amazing. This guy came and started directing us into a photo shoot. Shine's a model right now. This is the behind the scene of famous Kantalampo waterfall photo shoots in Bali. He's amazing. Now this is what I call your typical Balinese waterfall trip. Yeah, look at all the pictures he's taken. <laughs> Shooting. So, today is our last day in Firefly Echo Lodge, and this has been the most interesting stay I've ever been in. I'm gonna miss climbing up to bed, and I'm also gonna miss seeing all sorts of insects when I shower, and greeted by geckos when I sleep. There. Now it's time to check out. After all the fun in Ubud, we moved to a little villa in Krobokan where we stay and do more work. From there, we went out on a day trip to Karang Asem with our scooters, which took two hours there and back. It is one of the craziest things I've done this year. Never rode a scooter for more than 15 minutes before. We have arrived. Hello, 
And how are you doing? <laughs> so after the whole fun in Bali, we've decided to move to Nusa Penida and Shine's left already. So I'm here, yeah, in Nusa Penida now for about a week. It's been really fun. We had two whole days to just, you know, venture out in the islands and visit the main points, like the beaches, the natural springs, and more beaches, <laughs> cliffs. And the rest of the days we spent it in the bungalow, just working and working and working. Yeah, I'll show you a little bit of what the bungalow looks like, which is one of the best bungalows that I've stayed in. It's very secluded, just surrounded by nature. You can see the sunrise in the mornings, just there. <sighs> yeah, I couldn't ask for more. It's just, yeah, this actually made me move here. But that's for another video. Here are the types of food that we eat in Nusa Penida. It's mostly rice, nasi champur. We just look for the street food and warungs. We would just go out for food on lunchtime and then out again on dinner time. Yeah, it's actually been a very slow week. There's just work and the sounds of nature. Tomorrow, we will be heading back to Bali. Yep, we'll be heading back to where the buzz is. Looking forward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 